Right everyone, Web Collector here. I thought I'd do a video on poor man's homemade rations, 24 hour rations. So what I thought I'd do first is show you the kind of things you can get from anywhere and then how to use these as 24 hour rations similar to what they would use during World War II. I thought if I went back to World War II, it would be the most simple way to do it. So, this is just some of the ideas of the stuff you can get. Pretty much all you want is stuff for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and some stuff in between like teas, coffees, and sweets. And that is pretty much it. And everything you want needs to be sort of pre-packaged. It's the easiest way to do it. So I'll go over some of the things I've found that are pre-packaged to give you an idea of some of the kind of stuff you can get. So I'll try to go over the sort of breakfast stuff first. I may get a bit jumbled around. So some of the breakfast stuff would be these sort of pre-packaged biscuits. You would have these with a cup of tea I can't remember the exact what these are. They're some kind of digestive uh, biscuit packs. They come in a box, but you get these pre-packaged in it, and that's these. That's perfect. That's what. That's exactly what you want. It's something pre-packaged, small, so that you don't have to touch it. It's all already sealed up, ready, and that would be sort of part of your breakfast with some jams. Again, these are pre-packaged jams. There's quite a few different types you can get. You know, don't have to be these. But these are absolutely perfect for survival, um, for rations, 24-hour rations. Pre-packaged. One would probably be enough to do two of those biscuits each. Well, one would probably do all four, but if you put it on thick, you know. So there's that. We've also got some... Pretty much any pre-packaged chocolate's going to be all right. Smaller the better. But um, this is all I had at the minute. It's any chocolate I could find. But you know anything like this is perfect. It's pre-packaged. It's got a date on it. You don't have to touch it. Make sure everything you get is just best before. Because best before means it can be pretty much eaten. You know any time. You know doesn't go out of date per se. You know. More sweets, you know, just pre-packaged sweets. Little packets of miniature stuff that you can get perfect sweets. Oxo cubes, they're good for flavouring some of the other stuff you could be using. But you could also make just a drink from these with salt and pepper and that. So you've got some salt and pepper here. Pre-packaged again. These are from, I think these are possibly from a hotel. But you can get these in loads of different places, cafes and that. When you go to these cafes, or wherever, just grab a handful, put them in your pocket. Same with things like these sauces. They, you know, they're all best before. They don't really go out of date. You know. So there's various sauces you can get to add to some of the other stuff. Crackers are a good one. Finding pre-packaged crackers like this is perfect. In a little packet, already already sealed, you know. Pre-packaged uh, wet wipes, perfect again. And then, and again, just get them from restaurants or you know all these all these places where you just go and get a you know like a I suppose KFC and McDonald's they do these kind of things. What's that from a chicken and grill place you want something to drink so pre-packaged tea bags are great for that pre-packaged coffee pre-packaged hot chocolate the only thing I'm missing is powdered milk um, I haven't got any powdered milk at the minute but that that would be good so I suppose that's sort of, I've probably gone over things that aren't for your breakfast there, but um, that's some of your breakfast sort of things. Then you want your main meal, or your lunch would be the crackers and something else. Uh, 
but your main meal would you want something bigger for that so tins of meat I'd recommend if you was going to have a tin of meat get half a size one of this this is too big but again that's all I add preferably something that you don't need a tin open to open this has got a key you can get tins of tuna that you just pop the lid off I didn't have one at the minute this is the size you want for one person that's probably more for two like little tins of pilchards any tins of meat you need you know or if you're a vegetarian I suppose you have to try and find something else but you want something you want at least one of your things to be quite substantial so again you know a tin of that would be perfect because you could also take some of that meat or the fish put it on your crackers you see or you can take some of that meat or the fish and add it with the pasta so one of the other things I would say is try and get some of these things like this, these pre-packaged pasta things, they're small packets, you know, this rice one, this that one you need milk with it, but you, you don't need to add milk, just as long as it's thin, these are thin, barely weigh anything, don't take up any weight, you know, or, or size, these noodles are good as well, they're thin, yeah, so that, a uh, couple of soups, they're great, couple of cup of soups you can have them what you'd probably have for your lunch is probably the crackers and a cup of soup and something else you know but um yeah so a cup of soups are really good again because they're thin pre-packaged got the date on it you don't have to touch it you don't have to do anything because there are other ways you can do all this but um this is the easy way and the last thing i think well we've got tissues I would recommend probably a smaller one than that. That's just for, you know, wiping yourself or if you need to get to the toilet afterwards or whatever, you know. Wet wipes as well for your mouth. Mention that. And lastly, pack in with your, um, with your food some knives, some of these plastic knives, forks and spoons. I've got no knives in here. Because you're going to have, I'm pretty much guaranteed, if you're doing rations, you would have a knife on you. But, you could pack these disposable knives and forks and that and spoons in and then if you don't need them they're not taking up any weight or space anyway that's a proper one from a ration pack i think these are just cheap ones these come in microwavable meals but they're perfect for this kind of thing and then there was one other thing i think was well, this tea bag I didn't mention, but it just goes with pre-packaged tea bags. Matches to cook your food. So I'll tell you what I'll do now. I will put this into the three sections, or it'll be four sections, I think. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Not all of the stuff will be in it either, because not all of this is for one thing. And your sort of tea set and sweet set, so you can see what you would how you'd set it up. Right, I'll do that now. Right, so this is how you'd set it up. Something similar to this. So you'd have your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner. This is your sort of sanitary bit and how to cook it. You can't quite see that there. Hang on. Here, I'll show you that in a minute. And then here's your evening meal. Like your evening, your very last thing you have sort of thing show you those better in a minute so your breakfast would pretty much be the the four biscuits the sort of sweet biscuits two of the jams or one of the jams a cup of soup a tea or a coffee we're gonna this is a sweetener but i'm gonna pretend that's milk so your tea or coffee with some powdered milk and some sugar so that way you get a drink a bit of soup and something sweet for your breakfast so that would be your breakfast so that's that then for your lunch you would have another tea sugar and milk your chocolate you know you can put more than one into you could have one of them with your breakfast and your lunch or whatever dinner your crackers and half of your tin of meat you could have it all if you wanted to but I would recommend having half your tin of meat so you'd have all your crackers and you'd put half the tin you'd either eat half the tin or put half the tin of meat onto the crackers sort of thing with some of the sauce and then 
I forgot to put it with all of them, but there should be salt and pepper with each, maybe, yeah, with each one. So salt and pepper, salt and pepper, salt and pepper. So then that would be your lunch. So you'd have meat, crackers, tea, sort of a bit of dessert with it, you know. And then your main meal, or your dinner, whatever you want to call it, supper, would be your packet of pasta or rice with the other half of the meat, if you didn't have it all. You may not need it with it. But um, having half the meat with this just adds a bit more. You could have it all, like I said. But you could save half the meat for this to add to this. So you'd have that. Salt and pepper. You've got an oxo cube to flavour it. But again, the oxo cube could be used at any time. Oh, you've got an oxo cube here as well. I forgot about that. To flavour, you know, whatever. You can make a drink out of it if you wanted to, like a soup. And then you've got either your tea or coffee or whatever, I've just mixed it up, I've got tea, tea, and hot chocolate, but you could have tea, 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 you know, and then your powdered milk again, so that would be your evening meal, like your last main meal, and then four, if you wanted something, just before you go to bed, or something, or during the day, you've then got an optional drink, and some sweets, which you can have at any time you want, you could have it, you know, just after your breakfast or whatever and yeah so you can have these whenever you want so there's those that would be like your just whatever there's your cutlery there and then the other just things you would have with everything some tissues wet wipes you'd probably want three wet wipes one for each meal and some matches just to make sure you've got something to light your meal with and the other thing that the uh, that the World War Two rations had, and I would recommend printing one of these or making one yourself, is a little it's a little sheet that recommends what to eat and how to eat it. It would actually say on it there says for breakfast. This is where I got this idea from. It actually tells you what to have for your breakfast. That way you're not just having this for breakfast and that. You know it recommends. So I would do this, I would write on a sheet of paper, breakfast is biscuits, soup, jam, tea, sugar. And then do a part two, lunch, and then say lunch is half the tin, the crackers, the tea, the chocolate, whatever. You know, and again you don't have to do this exactly, this is just my idea of what I would definitely call the poor man's ration kit, you know, 24 hour rations. There's lots of other ways you can do this with stuff that's a lot more better for you or more calories than that. But, you know, this is, if you if you can't do that, this is a good way to do it. So, yeah. I'll work out the calories at the end for the whole meal, and if I can, because some of the things I won't know. And then I'll work out what how many calories there would be, and I'll put that in a little annotation or something. Also, if you want the... Uh, if you want to see what the World War Two ration instructions looks like, I'll either, I'll tell you what, I'll put those on my blog and I'll make my own ones that you can print. You probably have to change it though, but it'll, it'll give you an idea of what to print. Because you may give these rations to someone and they might not know what to eat when. It just helps if you tell them to eat, that's your lunch, you know, that's your breakfast, that's your lunch, that's your dinner, that's your afters, there's your sanitary and lighting kit. So yeah, so look out for that in the more info section. Any pictures and stuff like that. And yeah, I hope you found it helpful. So, um, if you're like me, you'll eventually get to the stage where you see stuff in cupboards and you think, ah, oh, that would be perfect for rations. You know. So yeah, that's just the general ideas of some simple things you can add or make rations out of. And what you want to do is just put this in a box. Uh, but I'll go over that in a different um, video. Well, I actually saying that I've got a video of me doing it, so I'll add a I'll add a thing somewhere, like a card, and I'll add a link showing me putting all of this stuff in a, make it into a box of rations. You could just put it in a Tupperware box. So, right, I've got the video. Remember, there's some missing stuff here. I would add chewing gum and powdered milk personally and go just to get the food out of your teeth. You could add toothpicks as well. 
and uh, you know anything if you can get little packets of dental floss that'd be perfect you know little packs of single-use dental floss would be good for cleaning your teeth out you don't want toothache so yeah pretty much any travel stuff's really good as well right I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you found it helpful and uh, all the links will be below if you need any more info see you later Right, before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearburst. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.